All right, in our previous video, I said I was going to uh, put some pictures up there, but I just thought I would uh, do a short little finish to the safety here so you can check out what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is a some of the things I have seen. One of the things I have seen, and I've seen it with um, copper pipes, this just happens to be wires put in here. 480 volt system, they, for whatever reason, they put wires in instead of fuses. That can cause some huge issues. Oh, hey, here's something else. There's a big old um, hornet's nest right there. Some other thing to pay attention to safety-wise, especially if you don't see it and you get your fingers in there and then they start come bombing out at you. All right, so there's one. Two, here's that um, residential disconnect. You're pretty, probably pretty familiar with these. They always have those plastic covers on it and you just pop out the uh, uh, T-handle there and you disconnect the power. Well, if you don't check, this is what you're gonna find uh, later on and you're gonna stick your fingers in there and get knocked on your butt. And that's because whoever was out there prior to you just, um, had, there was a bad or burned out disconnect, did not replace it, hot wired the system, put the cover back on, and all of a sudden you pull out that T-handle and the system is still hot. Oh, there's that other thing, spiders. You gotta watch out for spiders too. Okay, and now this is not me, but uh, this is a picture I pulled down from the internet. Uh, I have seen this. This is an example of a refrigeration, refrigerant burn. If uh, you get in a panic and and refrigerant starts spraying and you're trying to put a cap or a or your hose connection back on there, that's gonna what's gonna happen to you. You need to wear gloves or you need to be smart and if it starts to spray, you just need to let it go. All right, so be safe.